其实系保持咗百几年，代香港人咧向神明一个拜祭，亦都系东华一个拜祭。其实我哋知道咧，东华医院咧佢开幕嘅时候咧，就系当时嘅社会一件大事嚟嘅。咁啊，好多嘅報章啊，亦都有啲報道啊，咁樣樣。咁啊，我哋知道咧，原來當時咧就係誒，佢哋曾經係嚟到文武廟度拜神先。The famous Manmo Temple is over a hundred years old. It was the center of the Chinese community. It's still a vibrant place of worship today. Every year, the Tunghua group of hospitals hold their spring and autumn worships here. The ritual is said to have been practiced since the hospital's founding in 1870. The chairman, vice chairman, and directors would put on traditional clothes for the occasion. The ritual coming from a bygone era shows us the history of the development of Hong Kong's charity activities and the history of Hong Kong Chinese. The story begins with Manmo Temple. We know that Hong Kong opened up, there were some people who came to Hong Kong to work. They naturally formed three main places. The Hong Kong Street, 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 上市場就係太平山街，即係我哋呢個荷里活道附近一帶啦。咁但係咧，就喺一八四三年嘅時候咧，香港政府咧就有鑑於咧就係誒呢個誒中環街市對上嘅山坡咧太接近呢個西人住嘅地方，所以咧就係誒而且嗰個地方嘅好多華人喺嗰度好多煙檔啊誒嗰啲唔合法嘅東西啦，所以佢哋咧要佢哋搬走。咁最後咧啲華人咧就將佢哋搬咗嚟太平山街。Kuang Fook E Chi is located on Taiping Shan Street near Manmo Temple. The local Chinese inhabitants demanded a sanctuary to place the memorial tablets of the deceased. Kuang Fook E Chi was there for them. This place of worship led to the establishment of Tunghua Hospital. Kuang Fook E Chi 咧應該係喺一八五一年嘅時候成立嘅。咁有有啲人咧就喺呢度咧做一個叫義祠。後嚟有好多人咧，就係病咗之後又唔睇醫生，甚至喺呢度過身嘅。咁於是乎咧，就嗰個衞生情況咧，就慢慢就變得好惡劣。咁啊，呢樣嘢咧就吸引到本地嘅西文報紙嘅報導。於是乎咧，就係成為二次嘅醜聞。當時嘅總督就麥當勞啦，咁咧就係話咧，不如成立一間中醫院啦。既然華人咧係有病都唔會去西醫，即係睇西醫嘅話，咁啊，所以咧就係。誒有一班嘅香港嘅一班有錢嘅華人咧，就喺即係香港政府嘅支持底下，就成立咗呢個東華醫院啦。Today, besides the spring and autumn worships. The Tunghua group of hospitals also believes in Xin Nong, the legendary originator of Chinese medicine. These rituals help to preserve our culture. They are also a memory of how medical treatment was administered by the Chinese at its founding. We look at the history of Tunghua, the founding of the Tunghua is basically the head of the Tunghua. So the Tunghua is the head of the Tunghua. When the Tunghua was founded, 佢哋諗住，我哋應唔應該都拜一個神明呢？咁因為呢個係中國人嘅傳統嚟嘅，一定咧即係要有一個神嘅。
咁啊，結果佢哋咧就覺得啊，既然我哋係一個用中醫中藥嘅一間中醫院咧，咁啊，所以咧我哋不如咧就係揾翻中國歷史上，即、就、係、是、我哋講最早常百草嘅，即、就、係、是、被視為係中醫中藥嘅鼻祖嘅神龍氏，作為佢哋嘅一個神啦。其實喺當時嘅港府，誒希望透過精精崛起嘅一班華人精英。希望籠絡佢哋，透過佢哋可以咧幫政府咧去解決當時社會最急要解決嘅一啲問題，譬如公共衞生。其實當時嘅華人係唔願意誒進入醫院噶嘛嚇，咁點樣可以喺嗰個誒傳統嘅價值嘅觀念裏面，同埋公公共衞生喺個管治嘅問題上面呢樣嘢做一件做一個平衡呢？即係政府會有一個咁樣嘅諗法。但另外一方面咧，我哋睇到當嗰啲華人精英崛起嘅時候咧，佢哋亦都希望自己喺個社會裏面咧有一定嘅代表性。如果能夠喺香港社會裏面，喺嗰個上層社會裏面，代表住中國人，除咗喺個管治上面佢可以做一個角色，另外一方面咧，就算係面對住中國政府咧，第一都會有一個交代啦。我哋咧嚟到呢一個殖民地嗰度咧，曾經咧係為過咧係華人服務。咁我哋所以見到嗰個當時嘅社會嘅需要咧，係促成呢個東華嘅出現。After over a hundred years, their deeds are marked in this tablet hanging in the hall. Here are the good deeds done by the previous directors. The existing assembly hall was established in 1872. It hasn't changed at all since its refurbishment in 1934. This was the place where the chairman and directors held their meetings. Chinese managing Chinese affairs. We can also see the importance of compradors in the society back then. 当时嘅华人精英咧，佢哋主要咧都系一啲买板，同埋咧系一啲贸易行啊、南北行嘅一啲行商嘅代表。咁其实都系一班咧系商人。其实商人佢最大嘅特点，佢就系头脑非常之灵活嘅，因时制宜。即係知道係咁樣嘅情勢、咁嘅政情底下，佢哋已經可以扮演一個咩嘅角色？佢哋知所進退，呢、这個亦都係反映到點解佢哋願意接受政府嘅呢個建議，又覺得喺個社會上面又能夠做少少事，又可以面對住中國政府咧，第仍然可以咧係做到一個橋梁嘅角色。其實咧，東華醫院咧，佢有、呃、由一班。啊！華人總理去槍劍咧，我哋會睇到咧，佢保留住中國傳統善堂嘅一啲嘅理念嘅。誒，嗰個價值觀念，我哋會見到咧係仁愛嚇，所謂慈善都係佢哋咧係管治成間醫院嘅一個主要嘅精神。咁所以咧，我哋會睇到嗰個儒家思想扮演一個好重要嘅角色。These charity organizations emerged because Chinese merchants wanted to solve various problems that arose among the Chinese. Politically, the colonial government also valued the role of the merchants. Chinese merchants who engaged in charity benefited both society and themselves. In the United States, if someone wants to get rich, they will call it science. China is a capitalist society. 事係排到最高嘅，而商係排到最低的。香港咧係冇新嘅個階級，當然有時零零星星會有啲秀才或者舉人嚟香港度去做做嘢啦。咁但係或者係做教書啦，咁佢哋人哋會好尊重佢哋啦。但係新作為一個階級嚟講，喺香港係發揮唔到作用。咁同香港嘅殖民地嗰個架構係完全係格格不相入。咁所以喺香港嘅、呃、商人咧，就係、是。香港嘅華人領袖，佢哋可以誒用佢哋嘅金錢咧，係去誒，即係將呢個金錢，佢將佢哋嘅經濟嘅勢力咧，係去變做一個社會同埋政治嘅勢力。咁所以我哋睇翻東華醫院，點解佢喺香港歷史或者甚至喺中國近代歷史有能夠咁發揮咁大嘅力量，就係因為佢哋係團結埋喺一齊，將所有嘅商人嘅力量係凝聚喺一齊。
Poland Cook is one of the Chinese charity organizations which preserves old traditions. Ever since its establishment, Poland Cook worships Emperor Guan on his birthday every year. This ritual and spirit are related to one principle, care for the young and protect the innocent. Although it is only a ritual, it lets us know more about Chinese society through history. Ever since the establishment of Tung Wa, charity activities in Hong Kong started to develop in all directions. From the 1860s to the 1870s, kidnapping of women and children was common. Upon the request of Chinese merchants, Poland Cook was established in 1878. At first, it borrowed Ping On Block and Fuk Sao Block from Tung Wah Hospital to take in women and children. The existing Causeway Bay building was built in 1932. Come 所以早期這種慈善的事件顯示了中國文化傳統一方面也顯示了殖民地現代性的一方面是這兩方面的互動的一種很微妙的一種情況。The history of charity activities reflects changes in the amount of power Chinese people have in our society. In Hong Kong's medical history, there was an epidemic breakout. Although Tung Wah Hospital started to provide Western medicine sometime after its establishment, it is Kuang Wah Hospital, established in 1911, which heavily promoted Western medicine to Chinese through Chinese. Tung Wah Eastern Hospital, established in 1929, coincided with revolutionary changes in Hong Kong's medical history. 那個建築方面,我們會看到它是用了1920年代西式的建築作為醫院的設計 最主要的原因是利用到光線的空間 the development of Western medicine in Hong Kong improved a lot under these circumstances due to the involvement of Chinese. Yao 
禮重佈本。其實呢個異蟲咧係設立咗啦，喺光緒年間，距今都百幾年啦。中國人慎終追遠咧，係我哋好重視嘅一個文化。因為萬人師、萬人秀、萬人共結、萬人圓啊，咁所以咧盡自己嘅綿力咧，係去集合大家一齊嘅力量咧，去無論係現況嘅，同埋咧係過往嘅。In the early days of Hong Kong, life was difficult. Chinese charity organizations had a pivotal role to play. Besides providing free medical consultation, there were also free burial services. Loxing Tong in Kowloon City was established in 1880. The spring and autumn worships in the public graveyard show the services they provided. This Loxing Tong is the fifth. 界啊，界之外，未入香港嘅範圍。嗰、那個時候，中國人咧流落異鄉，無人同佢料理後事。我天堂幫佢執起上來，處理後事，就成為一個異寵。所以異寵咧，對我天堂嚟講咧，係一種善事嘅差唔多開端。Charity activities began on the Kowloon Peninsula in the mid-19th century. Loxing Tong was founded in Kowloon City. The original building has been torn down and rebuilt, but the plaque remains, still hanging in Kowloon City. It is a witness to the early days of how people in Kowloon Peninsula lived then. Loxing Tong，即係自到咧日本人咧侵佔香港嘅時候咧，嗰個大廈咧就毀壞咗，所有嘅文物咧燒曬，落善堂呢個招牌咧，因為係一嚿好大嘅一個麻石啊，雕
it reflected how the colonial government managed the Chinese in the early days. It also showed the self-initiated influence of the Chinese in society back then. 香港人幾時會覺得自己係香港人？換言之，就係係我哋研究香港史啦，其中一個最緊要嘅一個試點嚟。早期香港嘅殖民地政府係建立喺香港島，隨住東華嘅建立，慢慢喺嗰邊咧，亦都有好多贈醫私藥啊、私官念狀啊呢一類嘅嘢。東華自己有自己嘅華人團體，九龍城嘅樂善堂有九龍城自己嘅所謂華人團體。呢一個咁嘅華人團體咧，係一個非常之美麗嘅一個圖畫嚟嘅，俾我哋睇得到。原來我哋中國人咧，喺乜嘢地方都好啦，自己嗰種自發性咧，去聯絡、去發展自己嘅慈善事業咧，呢樣嘢係好重要。即使換言之，華人去走埋一齊咧，佢個力量咧，好多時好多時，佢都唔係一定要靠政府佢先做得到。The century-old buildings are the witnesses of our society. Another hundred years will pass. And these buildings will continue to tell the history of Hong Kong Chinese. But can they alone contain all the changes in Chinese society? <laughs>